Today's battle is on 16GB versus 32GB RAM. Does more GB mean more power? A few years back, 16GB RAM was for professionals, but with the revolution of content marketing and 4K gaming, the demand for more RAM gigabytes is increasing. So, this video will sort your confusion out. However, we have compared based on Memory range Speed in workplace Server load Programming and coding Content editing Differences in gaming too Let's have a detailed sip of these points. For first, let's compare the memory range. When you use different software, browser tabs, and applications on your PC or laptop, the load directly goes on RAM, regardless of Windows or Mac. Developers make programs so they can take a minimum percentage of any RAM range. That means 32GB provides an additional 16GB space for the software to exceed the minimum RAM requirement. However, while using an Asus ZenBook Duo, 16GB took us less than 4 minutes to render a video in Sony Vegas Pro 19 and to use MS Word 15 browser tabs simultaneously. But for the Asus ROG Flow X13 32GB, it took less than 2 minutes. Again, proving the difference between 16GB versus 32GB RAM for video editing is the extra space. Comparing on speed in workplace. Between the debate of 32GB versus 16GB RAM, there's a fair share of myths. Some tech experts call 32GB excessive work. A 16GB RAM can process Creative Cloud within 4 minutes in Windows for an average size marketing firm. On the contrary to our test, it takes less than 2 minutes in 32GB DDR4 RAM. And with the latest Windows 11 update, 32GB works better for bulk content work. Again, M1 Pro, 16GB, and the M1 Pro, 32GB, only have 2 seconds differences to operate Creative Cloud. And a MacBook Pro laptop with 32GB RAM will be great if you freelance graphic design or use programming software like CAD. Out third comparison on server load. Do you know, your PC's operating system takes 1GB on account of every 4GB software or browser tab load. For 16GB, it takes an extra 1GB against every 8GB and 7GB for 32GB RAM. If the database is extensive, it will create an additional load for the 16GB RAM to load the server, because fewer gigabytes means less space for the server to load. However, call centers and software companies need huge server load, so they should go 32GB and beyond, regardless of Windows or Mac. What about programming and coding? P for professional engineers, it's better to go 32GB and beyond. Coding also depends on CPU besides RAM, but as we explained above, the higher RAM, the easier it is. But between 16GB versus 32GB RAM for programming students and semi-professionals, 16GB is a sweet spot. An M1 Max 16GB chip is enough for smooth programming. But Xcode does take up to 12GB, including extra cache. If configured with M1 Max 32 chip, Xcode provides a multi-browser facility, due to additional free gigabytes. Now, comparison on content editing. With minor use of background application, 16 gigabytes is okay for 1080 to 4K 8-bit edit, contrarily, 32 gigabytes RAM render fast, even with heavy background application. However, we've read on Reddit, users ask if 64 gigabytes RAM is overkill for video editing? Yes, it is, and you don't need it, unless you're a specialist or movie editor. What are the differences on gaming? For regular gamers, 16 gigabytes is enough and provides a fantastic visual experience. Gaming is a visible and graphics-based activity, so more RAM means more space for visuals. So, between 16 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes RAM gaming, both do a great job but 32GB overplays in terms of visual experience and gameplay. If you are a professional gamer and a streamer, 32GB is a must-have, because 16GB cannot handle the load of the high-resolution games and streaming simultaneously. So, which RAM should you buy? More RAM does provide more capacity and space for your computer, 
but regular to semi-professional, 16 gigabits RAM should do a great job. Professionals and specialists like architects, streamers, professional gamers, and digital artists often get confused between 16 gigabytes versus 32 gigabytes RAM. To make it clear, they should go for 32 gigabytes and beyond for future proofing. Walla. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Inviting you to stay with us for further videos. And yes, lots of tech tips are waiting for you on the Tech Fixer.